Hi, uh, my name is Hector Garcia. And uh, whether you're new to QuickBooks or have some experience, uh, you may be considering uh, taking a test of some sort. So I'd like to walk you through all the different options out there uh, in order to get training for QuickBooks and the kind of tests that are out there. Um, unfortunately, depending on the type of test you're going to take, you may have to focus uh, your training or your learnings towards that. I am trying to cover as many as possible in this video. And this video is going to be a series uh, and I'm going to be adding more and more as I, as I have a chance to. So this is the complete QuickBooks learning guide and we're going to call this how to pass a QuickBooks test. So let's start by talking and clarifying what are the two types of official QuickBooks exams or certifications. There's two official, and by official, I mean they're actually sponsored by Intuit, the maker of QuickBooks. So the two tests you can take to have this uh, official uh, title are the Intuit certified user or certified QuickBooks user and the QuickBooks certified pro advisor program. Those are the two official ones. And uh, all across the country, uh, there are very unofficial trainings. Uh, that are certificate programs, uh, typically universities and, and community college and private institutions. And they're, none of them are related to the two that are above. And I'll, I'll spend more time talking about that later on. So let me start by talking about the Intuit QuickBooks Certified User. So this is designed for QuickBooks users. That's the key word, users. Uh, they're typically internal bookkeepers, business owners, employees of small companies that are operating the business with QuickBooks. This is a proctored exam. That means you have to travel to a testing center and uh, they have to verify that you're not copying from a book and that sort of thing. It's a typically a 50 question exam. You have about an hour. I'm not sure if it's 50 minutes or an hour. And the typical cost is $150. I know they vary a little bit, but that's around how much it costs. Um, you don't need to go to a specific training for that. This you just pay for the exam and you take it and hopefully you'll pass it. Their link is in the bottom uh, so you can learn more about it. The next one is the QuickBooks Pro Advisor program. Now this is more for a QuickBooks consultant, an external bookkeeper, a contracted bookkeeper, an accountant, an IT professional. In a nutshell, anyone who that's going to support multiple QuickBooks companies or multiple industries. Now, the Pro Advisor program has two choices. They have the Cloud Pro Advisor program, which is basically 100% free, which is great. Um, it's pretty much for consultants that will be working exclusively on QuickBooks Online, on the cloud version of QuickBooks. It's a five-part multiple choice. The exam is taken online. You don't need to go to any specific facility to do that. You do it online from your computer, and you have four attempts to pass. Um, there are multiple choice uh, questions with four answers. So if you're keeping track of the answers, is you will you you can do the math. It is kind of technically impossible to not pass. There's also the QuickBooks Desktop Pro Advisor program. This is a traditional Pro Advisor program. This one is about five five to six hundred dollars per year. It's specialized for consultants that will support both QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop plus QuickBooks Mac, QuickBooks Enterprise, and QuickBooks Point of Sale. Now, the reason why this is a, a much higher cost, it, obviously compared to the free version, and an annual cost is because you get certified every year and you get the resources updated every year. Also comes with software. I'll talk more about the details about that. So um, let's talk about training programs. So the Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, there's no uh, official place where, where you go for training. There's There are annual conferences that are focused around that training. But if you visit IntuitAcademy.com, every once in a while, uh, Intuit actually travels to different cities to help accountants and consultants get certified in QuickBooks Online. So you can go to www.IntuitAcademy.com to hear more about that or to learn more about that. Now, again, you don't need to attend any live certification, any live class. All of the materials, including videos, PDF learning guides, and the software, uh, in the case of QuickBooks Online, you get a free subscription to QuickBooks Online so you can practice and play with it. And if it's a desktop, you're gonna get all the software you need uh, that's gonna be tested. So it's really, really neat. And again, it's all included with the program. You do it. 
at your own pace from your computer. Now, about the QuickBooks uh, certified user, the Intuit, there's also not an official training by Intuit. However, there's a, a very large company that has been doing QuickBooks training for a very long time called Real World Training. They're a great uh, training institution. They're kind of a staple in this whole QuickBooks training environment. You go to www.quickbookstraining.com and they offer live courses all over the country. They typically uh, travel, they, they, they rent a hotel for two days and they also have web-based. The class is between five and $600 and the prices could vary. Now the real nice uh, value behind real world training is not only you get the two day training and it does come with some uh, text materials is they actually include the voucher. So that $150 voucher I was telling you guys about earlier, that's included with that training. So when you think about, you're gonna go pay $150 for that training. Let's say you pay $550 for real world training. You're really paying just an additional, let's say $400 for the two day class. So it's actually really, really cool. But you still have to go to a proctored sort of port testing center after the class at some other point you have to schedule it to actually take the the test and and, and get certified now you will walk out with a certificate from real world training and, and that should have some value for employment but it's not the official uh, certified user certificate for that you actually need to uh, take the exam afterwards now let's talk about some of the learning resources that are available there intuit has an official student learning guide and there's the the link for that um, my, my good friend Doug Sleater, uh, he runs one of the one of the very large accounting technology uh, conferences every year. Um, he wrote a book, or his team wrote a book, called uh, the Complete QuickBooks Guide, which is very similar to Intuit's learning guide, but is written from a consultant's perspective. So you're going to get a little bit more uh, details about that. And also, you can go to Amazon and or any bookstore and buy the the missing manual, which is sort of the official one. I, I did a quick video on YouTube, and there's the link there where I kind of talk about both books and I also uh, put a link to uh, how to download the free PDF. It's actually legal. It's not like a legal pirate download or anything. You can download the free PDF. So let me show you that real quick. Uh, let me open up the browser and show you all these resources here. So this is the Sorted Port website. This is where you can learn more. This is sortedport.com and you click on products and then go to a QuickBooks certified user. And this is where you can learn all sorts of information about the certified user program. You can schedule a test. You can buy a voucher. This is uh, the ProAdvisor website. Okay. Um, basically, all you do is go to that ProAdvisor website. I put the link in the, in the video and I'll put it also in the comments below. And you click here where it says enroll now. And this kind of just walks you through the process, right? Do I want to do the, the paid pro advisor and it tells you whether you want to pay monthly or, or annually. And by the way, I know this is the price as of the day I made the video. So I, I apologize if the price goes up <laughs> by the time uh, you watch this and, and it wouldn't be, wouldn't be bad because it's actually a wonderful program. I'm a member of it. And if you scroll down uh, so, at somewhere at some point in the website, uh, you're going to get an option for uh, the free, the, um, the online version. I don't know why it's not in this link, but if you actually, uh, Google, I'm just going to Google here real quick. If you go to Google and you, and you search, you know, let's say your QuickBooks cloud pro advisor, that should take you to that too. So if for whatever reason you can't, uh, you can't get to it straight from, from, from the, the website, the link below, you can go through the cloud pro advisor pr program and it's free. So there it is. Sign up for free. There it is. And, um, so you should, you should at the very least start with the free one, learn about QuickBooks online, get certified. And then, you know, later on you can think about, um, the, the paid program. Now this is the real world training website. I'm, I was telling you about that's quickbookstraining.com. And, uh, for example, I'll put the zip code here in, uh, in where I live and uh, you can see uh, they have classes all over the country and they travel right so so they don't have a fixed uh, training center so they'll go to different hotels and stuff like that and you can see all the all the classroom based options and different uh, different zip codes and different states and stuff like that and they also have uh, the web based right so you will have a web based class in there so you can uh, check check them out for that as well um, okay let me go back to the slides here Okay, perfect. So let's talk about third party programs or, or certification. So there are many institutions uh, not related to Intuit, not sponsored by Intuit that do uh, training programs. Uh, they're very typically community college, universities, 
community learning centers or private institutions. I actually run a private institution, a, my company, that does QuickBooks training. And um, we do offer a certificate. Uh, in some cases, I think the, the official certifications could be better than the privately running certifications. In some cases, uh, the privately run ones are actually better than some of the official ones. So it depends really on what your perspective is and what you're looking for. Um, the certification that we run, it's about it's between five and $600. Again, the prices could vary. And I'll show you my our website real quick. And, and again, depending on what you're comparing it against, obviously it's the program that I wrote. So I think it's really high quality, but um, Real World Training also has a, a great program as, as I mentioned below. This is my website. So for example, we have a three-day certificate program here. And again, this is not an official Intuit certificate program. This is privately run by an accountant or pro advisor like myself. Uh, my partner, Alexander, teaches this class in Spanish as well. So it's, it's really cool. We're one of the very few in, in the country that, that, teach, uh, that, that teach this content in Spanish. And you do get a certificate, but again, it's not the pro advisor program and it's not the certified user program. So I wanna make sure these things are really uh, clarified because uh, there's just a lot of confusion about the different training and certifications that are out there. Now, let's talk about choosing the best option assuming that you have a choice assuming that you know you are going to uh, be a, an accountant or bookkeeper or consultant and you want to you know have a much deeper career in the world of quickbooks or you want to be an independent practitioner or you want to make a living helping people with quickbooks definitely your choice is going to be the pro advisor program again all the software and training materials are included if you work with quickbooks online exclusively the program is free. One account of QuickBooks Online is free. Can go wrong. And again, if you're going to work with desktop clients, you pay the five, six hundred dollars per year, and it's more than worth it because the training materials are included, all the certifications are are included, and the software is included. Now, let's say, for example, that you are uh, not really going to be an independent practitioner. You're going to be an, in, an internal bookkeeper. You're looking for future employment. You're trying to pump up your resume and have an official certification that you know how to use QuickBooks, then I would uh, recommend the Intuit uh, QuickBooks Certified User Program. Quick, $150 for the voucher to take the exam, and you must be, you have to take it in an authorized certified, certified port testing facility. Now, back to the title of the video, how to pass a QuickBooks test. So now that we kind of talked about that, uh, let's uh, talk about specifically the the type of scenarios that we could be in. So you can either be in scenario A, um, so QuickBooks certified, uh, QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and then basically you sign up for the program. Everything will be included, so I'm not going to be redundant and do a, a video about all the th content that's already there. However, because a certified user test, there's not a lot of content out there. I'm actually going to make a series of videos after this one that is going to focus on every single aspect of the certified user program. And the very last video I'll make, we'll talk about the unofficial tests that are cre created and proctored by staffing agency or future employers. Uh, for example, I get hired by small companies or sometimes medium-sized companies here in Miami uh, to help them find a QuickBooks uh, user, a, a bookkeeper, a controller. And I, ha I created my own test, you know, so, um, so I don't necessarily just look for certified users. Sometimes I want to go a little bit beyond. So on that very last video, I'll talk about some of the tests that I made, the type of questions that I ask, some of the logic behind that. So stay tuned for that video. Now, on the next following vi a couple of videos, we're going to talk about the QuickBooks certified user test. And there are 10 objective domains. So they're the ones you see on the screen. And I want to show you uh, on the website where I got this information from just to make sure that it's consistent. So at the QuickBooks certified user website and the certified website, um, somewhere around here, I forget where it's exactly that you click on, uh, you click and you get this PDF. And this PDF is the the sort of the summary of all the contents are going to be there. And you see things like uh, section one, QuickBooks setup, and here are all the specific content that you need to know. And section two, general utilities and all the content you need to know. And then section eight, reports and all the content that you need to know. So I actually uh, build a PowerPoint with all that content and I'm going to make I'm going to make a video about each and every one of them. So we're going to go through QuickBooks setup and all those details, QuickBooks utilities, uh, list management, items, sales, purchases, 
payroll, reports, accounting basics, and customization and saving time. So uh, stay tuned for the videos, subscribe to my channel, please hit like and add any comments of any other topics you would like me to cover. And just to avoid any potential confusion, the videos in this series is a total of 12. The first video, how to pass a QuickBooks test introduction, is this video you just watched. Then the next 10 is going to be QuickBooks setup, QuickBooks utilities, all the way down to customization, which are the 10 uh, objectives, learning objectives for the QuickBooks certified user exam. And the very last video, the 12th video, is going to be how to pass an unofficial QuickBooks test, which is any questions that you may get asked that really don't have any clue what they could be because they are made by any particular individual in the country that's creating a test, an unofficial test for employment purposes or staffing or something like that. So I'll cover some of the sort of, sort of the tricks and, and tips that I know uh, because I built some of these unofficial tests myself as well. So we'll talk about some of the concepts that I usually test on. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.